Okay, here we have another vi uh, vintage video sender. This one's made by Nip in America. Wireless video sender model WV050. Because the other one didn't work too well and then it crapped out shortly after anyway. I don't know if it was a bad power supply or what. I got this one which has a better antenna on it. I seen Techmoan use one of these. That doesn't want to come out of the damn box. He used it on one of those like handheld TVs. They don't have any inputs at all. And it worked. So maybe I had a defective one. We're gonna try this one out. See if I get any better results. Everything's in here well packed. Tape to get it some. Glued in. A lot of sticky shit. Something melt on here. Right. We'll find out if this thing works or not, so let's hook it up. This one works! Picture and sound. Let's turn the volume down before I get flagged for copyright audio. Little dark, but that might just be the video. The rabbit ears are up there. Transmitters are there. It's from that. Alice Cooper, The Nightmare Returns. So the other transmitter was a piece of shit. This one works. Got a dang on down there the best I can. Haven't adjusted nothing with the settings on it, but I do have audio. And I got picture. If I change the channel, it likes channel 27. So this one works. So, yep, the other one was junk and it crapped out anyway. So that was that. Nippin' American Wireless Video Sender. It plugs into the uh, RCA outputs on the back. Transmits via that little thing up there to the rabbit ears, which I have hooked up to this splitter here. Which then goes to this long cable into the back of the TV. So if I move the antenna around. This thing's not going to stay, it's going to come tumbling down. But either way, it works. Cool. So I can't leave the audio on because I'll get flagged for copyright. But sweet, got a working transmitter now. So if I get any like vintage TVs that don't have inputs, I can use the sender to watch videos on it. So thanks for watching.